So imagine your arms being cut off and used as material to make an ashtray. How would you feel? Yeah. Yeah. Well, elephants are being killed and they're, they're, they're getting their tusks cut off and it's shaved down to make things like ashtrays and pool balls, things like that. Which leads me to my topic on endangered animals and I'm still on here. Um, my thesis is endangered animals support humans and are beneficial in many ways. Therefore, they should be protected because they're useful for medical science, the environment, and other animals. Um, so endangered species should be protected because they're useful for medical science. The research on animals has helped in many ways as far as finding out if animals carry disease and if they can be transmitted. In this picture, it's a rhino and they're also being killed and their tusks are being cut off and basically it's for medicine that cures fevers, gout, rheumatism, and other disorders. So it's proven that animals help benefit humans, but with the lack of knowledge of humans, they only want to kill them to make money off of them. And it's hurting us because in the end, we won't have them for future. And some medicine we won't have because they're dying. So here's my graph that I made for my research project. And basically, it shows the number of elephants being killed, but in the thousands. So in 1995, there were 286,000 elephants that died. And in 2012, there were 420 elephants that died. Um, elephants play an important role in, the, in maintaining the biodiversity of the ecosystem in which they live. For example, creating grasslands and salt lakes um, and creating water holes, which is a source of water for other animals, which shows how animals benefit animals. So this is the Wildlife Service um, uh, logo, and basically they're responsible for t protecting endangered animals, but I feel like they should protect endangered animals way before they're endangered so that the animals won't be become endangered. And so in this picture, it's supposed to have words. It's supposed to show like if bees were to go extinct and if humans were to go extinct, it's supposed to be like kind of funny. But um, humans should come together to make an effort to protect animals that are endangered because they are important in many ways. And we can use bees for example because bees make honey and honey can help with healing wounds, strengthening the immune system, nourishing the skin and face, and it prevents and helps control eggs. For my product, I created a 3D model of animals in their habitat. And this is my model. And for my service, I volunteered at Trees Charlotte. And basically, uh, I went to uh, plant trees. We planted about uh, 300 trees. And I did this for my service because most endangered animals are endangered because they don't have a habitat to live in. And if I build these trees, maybe it can help endangered animals such as birds so they can have a home to live in. And this is just me volunteering and playing the tree. And that's what the tree, well, that's, what, that's the first stage of it. I had to dig all that dirt out and um, put the dirt back in once the tree was in there. And that's what it looked afterwards. Um, my biggest takeaway was trying to maintain my time and trying to get it done. Um, I procrastinated a lot, and I wish I wouldn't have done that because, yeah, it was it was stressful. Um, I feel like I took this very seriously and I was mature about about this project, and I had a good time doing it. Thank you. And what questions do you have? Yeah. How long did it take you to build your um This? Uh, it took like three days.
glad that you did another topic. Honestly, I'm not sure because it was hard choosing this topic and I really didn't want to do it. But once I started researching and learning more about it, I started getting interested in it in some way. All right, one more time, Gilda, for small.